<laughs> yeah. Boo. Yeah. And there's a, another little cinema scene that's playing right now that you only get if you have 101% uh, in the game. It's like addition or additions or something. There was no Dogadon in the cre credits. He's in the uh, secret scene. Oh, okay. One of, one of the cardboard cutouts arms were in the secret scene. Yeah, there's a lot of random things in the secret scene. <laughs> Which is playing right now. I remember Dogadon does something and it's not considered scary and then something else happens and it's scarier. Starfish. That's right. Dogadon gets scared by a beaver. <laughs> DK. Did you get to Dogadon getting scared no. by a beaver yet? I'm at the starfish forming a DK. There he is. Yep. <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's the mermaid being Candy Kong. It's Candy being Candy Kong, and then Tiny being Candy Kong, apparently. And then they're all in a... Weird line thing. <laughs> Something Aaron would find attractive. And those Kremlings, apparently. Yeah, uh, yeah. One of them's Aaron, the other one's Nintendo Man. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Beavers. <laughs> oh, a giant gold beaver. Tiny just kicks it and it's stronger than DK. A banana fairy. Are you still there? Yeah. Oh. We're just quiet for a while. I'm trying to figure out what that symbolized. <laughs> well, it was Scoff uh, doing burping and then. Whoa, it ended for me already. Yeah, that's the last one. Oh, okay. The best one is definitely dog and dog getting scared by a beamer. Okay. Um. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm gonna put uh, Skype on hold really quick and then just finish this off. All right. Okay. Hello everybody, this is Slim Kirby 64 closing out my Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this LP, my first LP, uh, especially those who have been really supportive, giving me good rankings, and just, you know, giving me good criticism and advice to keep going. And uh, Definitely, uh, that was a better reaction than I ever thought I would get. I thought a bunch of people would be like, no, these other LPers, they do it better, and it's they're better, and they got 
good hair and they look nice and derba der and stuff like that. And well, you guys are just very supportive and uh, I'd just like to thank you for being so, uh, what's the word, uh, tolerable I guess that would work on just this uh, let's, P let's Play in general. Um, I'm still not sure what exactly I'm going to do next. I'm still kind of thinking about it. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, games that are being pushed towards, and, uh, well, not just that, but the video quality issue is kind of putting that a little on hold anyways. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what to do yet. Um, I'm sure I'll think of, I'll figure it out eventually, and I'll probably start during the first week of July, no matter what. Uh, but I'm probably going to take these next few days off. At least, I'm, I'm at, the earliest I'm going to start the next project is uh, July 5th. On June 4th, there will be a special video to commemorate my one year of uh, uploading videos on YouTube. And, well, that's about it. Uh, there are a few things I want to talk about in this game really quick, uh, if you didn't know. Um... If you get all the banana fairies, or if you get banana fairies in the game, uh, you can unlock a different uh, variety of uh, rewards. Uh, first of all, if you get two banana fairies, you have the DK Theater, and it has basically all the videos in the game, like the DK Rap, oh wait, End Sequence, Game Over, K Rule, all the cinema scenes. Uh, it's just a really nice uh, feature. Uh, six Banana Fairies unlock a DK bonus. Bunch of different bonus games, the DK Arcade and Jetpack. And, like, two bonus games with Rambi and, uh, in guard. They're kind of like the Rambi game that we played in Rambi, uh, Hideout Helm. And you can just go for getting the high score and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, ten Banana Fairies, you unlock all the bosses. Uh, you don't unlock the final boss, though. You might want to keep a file if you want to do that boss again. Uh, Mystery, 15. Uh, this is for multiplayer. Um, battle, Crusha on or off. Um, Crusha is basically a hidden character you can use for uh, the multiplayer mode. He's kind of overpowered because he can... Uh, his uh, weapon is a orange launcher. It's basically just like... He can throw his own oranges, and his uh, weapon fires oranges too, so it's really powerful. He's a really overpowered character. And finally, we have cheat codes. Um, basically, you can um, make infinite amounts of these items, like ammo, crystal coconuts, coins, oranges, stuff like that. Uh, these cheats really would have been really good for the rabbit race, but... I decided to do it the right way, so I didn't even touch these. And that's about it. Just some of the things you can unlock in the game. And as I mentioned, there is a Kong battle, which is basically the multiplayer mode of the game. It's somewhat fun. It's basically you either do the K Rule battle arena, or you do the just different maps. And you play around trying to kill the other Kongs with weapons. You can use your moves. It's kind of a fun little mini game to, or fun little feature to have. Um, it may not, it may not be the best polished of this type of mini game, but um, it's still pretty fun. Me and my friends have had fun with it in the past. And that's about it. That's just some of the stuff you can get, and uh, that's about all I need to talk about. I'll probably end this series with uh, the DK rap, which I promised people I would show to them, since I ignored to do it in the very first video. But otherwise, that's about it. This has been Slim Kirby with Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. Once again, I'd like to thank you for being very supportive of my first Let's Play. I'm still unsure of how I will go about in the future of making Let's Plays. I might go back to walkthroughs for a little bit until I find the best video quality and stuff like that, but I might do another one like this just to work with what I have. That's what someone told me in one of my videos. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.